All righty. First Pi Guy, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, your Raspberry Pi using a RTO SDR dongle for the uh, GOES satellites. Uh, so you're able to receive the images by using a uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, an RTL SDR USB dongle with a bias T, or you can use one without, and also using uh, the new Alex Allbird Plus Goes uh, filter. So, uh, and you also need a a Wi-Fi antenna, like a parabolic antenna, which I can post uh, a link to another video of mine of what I did with my uh, YouTube, uh, I mean my uh, Wi-Fi antenna to make it work. So, before we get started, I'd like to give a big shout out to the, uh, the person that came up with this and and all that deserves a lot of credit so uh this is a nice cool setup when you get it up and running and everything's working so first off we need to do is do a an update <clears throat> on the pi then we're going to do a uh do another do an upgrade here so uh, once this is done I'll be back alright that's that now we need to install some dependencies here to make this all happen so this might take a little bit so I'm gonna pause this all right, now that that's installed, we're going to get the latest RTL SDR source here and compile it and install it to uh, get this on the road. Now that that's done, now we need to do the rules here. And we're going to make it. And I'm running this on a uh, Raspberry Pi 3, by the way, with a uh, Samsung 32 gig SD card. So. I have really good luck with the uh, Samsung SD cards. All right, now we need to do a sudo make install. All right, so now that's done. We need to copy some stuff here. And we need to do another thing here. Then we're gonna blacklist some stuff. Then we're gonna reboot this. And I'll be back in a second. All right, now we're back. Now we need to test the uh, dongle to make sure everything's working. So that looks good. We can cancel that. I'll just clear that. So now we need to uh, install the ghost tools. So let's uh, clone that. And we need to let that do its thing. And we'll get in here. We'll do that.
So now we need to do a make. This might take a little bit, so I'm going to come back. All right, now we're back. So now we need to do a sudo make install. All right, so now we can just CD, oops, CD out of that. We'll clear that. So now we need to make a file here. So we're going to name it goes or e c v dot config. Then we're going to post paste the uh, the following in. Now you may have to play with this the frequency. If you're running the new Alex Mark T with the built-in bias, you can let that false. If you're running like uh, the RTL.com version three, you can uh, you'll have to change this to true because the new Alex Smart T uh, the bias T is always powered, so. You might have to mess with the gain. I know I did. I know I had to. So once that's done, we're just going to save that. And we're going to go to a website that will show what your azimuth and elevation is in the satellites. You'll see all this in the description. <coughs> So you know where to point your uh, antenna at. So I don't have this hooked up to an antenna or anything because of just the purpose of doing this video. But this is the uh, program running here. So let me make the font here a little bit smaller so you can see. As you can see, I got a lot of drops over here. They need to be like zero. And this column here needs to be as low as possible, like 400s, 300s. And when you get them, when you get that column real low, you'll start getting packets and stuff. So when that's running, when you get it to that point, you'll need to open up a separate terminal <clears throat> and once you're into a, another terminal here you'll need to run this file and with running this with this in the background running, you'll start seeing over here that uh, it's writing images to the uh, to the folders. So, but like I said, you're not going to get all that because I don't have it hooked up to nothing. So we'll just do a Control C to cancel that. So that's about it. So just uh, you're going to have to play with like the gain, possibly the frequency, maybe even the sample rate. I think I left this alone. Um, so I mean, every place is going to be different. For my setup, I'm coming out of the Pi with the Noelec uh, Smart T <coughs> plugged right into the uh, Saw and Ghost uh, filter from Noelec. So uh, then it goes right to my antenna. I have no coax running in between. I'm lucky enough to use a 
USB extension to uh, bypass the coax up, not losing no loss, line loss. So, uh, and it works out really well. I can show you what it looks like here. This will be what it looks like when it's writing the images. As you can see, it's telling you where it's going. So that's that, and I'll show you show you this other one because I have it running now. And this is what it looks like when you have it pretty well lined up. A lot of times I'm in the low 300s, but I guess it all depends on the weather and everything. But as you can see, I got no drops. I got the packets in the 50s. So that's what you need to do. And uh, this needs to run in order to uh, receive the images from... Uh, the uh, <clears throat> from the pie so what I normally do is I use this program called win SCP and uh, to transfer my uh, to transfer my files over so as you can see, we're in the Pi directory. And right there will be the images from that one, that one, this one, and uh, also this one. So this is a nice program to do that with because all you, all you do is just drag right over to wherever you want to save, save your thing at. So... You pick a directory over here where you want to save your stuff, and you can just drag it right over, so it works out really good. But uh, other than that, that's all I really have. I'll post the uh, link in the description to the uh, the gentleman's uh, GitHub page, and shout out to him for uh, doing a nice write-up. It's pretty simple to follow along. I have... I had a couple of people asking me about uh, a video or whatever, so I figured I'd try to come up with one, try to uh, help people out as much as possible. So, all right, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.